Welcome back to my KonMari series, Kimono Kitchen. This is a big, big category, and as I said in my first video when I did dishes and utensils, I've broken it down. So today I'm working on all of the cooking items. So my pots and pans, my casserole dishes, I have some mixing bowls and some small kitchen tools, choppers, slicers. Um, I will also be doing my kitchen appliances, so toaster, popcorn, popper, mixers. I'm excited. It's a big project. There's a lot to do, but I'm going to get it done. So let's get started. So these are mixing bowls, casserole, pans, pie pans, in this cabinet and then on the bottom shelf a uh, little sandwich pocket maker a waffle iron casserole dish shouldn't be there should be up higher another mixing bowl this one I use almost every morning for our breakfast and then some more mixing bowls so I'll be going through that cupboard and then over here are our electric frying pans two different sizes they're Anyway, this cupboard's dirty. This is real life. Down here is my Bosch mixer and its part. So I'm pretty sure I'll be keeping everything in this cupboard, but I'm going to go ahead and take them out and clean them, the cupboard and stuff anyway. This cabinet holds our blender and our popcorn popper. Down here is the toaster and the food processor that attaches to my Bosch mixer. Okay, here I go tidying my small appliances that I pulled out of my island cabinet. So I got a waffle iron. We use that. We'll keep that. Popcorn pop popper gets used at least twice a week. Big popcorn fans. Toaster. Yeah, keeping it. Blender. Same thing. Keeping it. This pocket sandwich maker, we don't use a lot. I will check with my husband and see how he feels about that appliance because he's the one that uses it the most. Skipping these and coming over here to my Bosch, I will be keeping all of the attachments and things for it. Though I don't use the food processor attachment very often, I use it. It, it makes my life so much easier when I am drying things like onions specifically that is why I got it was for my onions in my garden so keeping all of that same goes with the electric um, griddles keeping them we use this large one on the bottom at least twice a week for pancakes for breakfast and the smaller one we'll use a lot in the summer when we grill cheese sandwiches and stuff like that so we're keeping all of those so now we are to the mixing bowls. I feel like this is pretty uneventful because I, I know what's here and I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it all, but moving on, I've got this metal bowl, keeping it a large Tupperware bowl and its lid. We'll keep that. We use it for um, when I make bread and also for popcorn. These large mixing bowls, same kind of thing. I said already this Tupperware mixing bowl I use when I'm making um, I, I can't even explain. Cakes, um, pancakes, waffles, frosting. What else do we use it for? I think that might be the main thing we use it for, so we're keeping that. These bowls we use for serving bowls mostly as well as some um, like salads, like we'll do a jello salad in it and stuff. And I just I like the looks of them on my table for dinners more than more than plastic. So we'll keep that. Over here are our pie plates. This metal one I use um, for anyway, because I can put someone's meal in it. I'm thinking about it some more. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of this. It's pretty flimsy and yeah, we'll get rid of that. This pie crust shield um, and pie dish were given to me at Christmas and I love the pie pan especially and the shield has been great. My mother-in-law gave that to me. That was a wonderful gift for me. And then I have three other pie dishes which is 
these three plus one my mother-in-law got me for Christmas are just the right amount because we are a pie family. Instead of cakes for birthdays, my kids request pies, and so we'll do pies. And anyway, for the holidays, I make a lot of pies, so this is good for us to have that many pie dishes. And then over here we have casserole dishes, which I go through spurts of using. And this one with the pansy is my favorite. I got it, this pattern of Corel Ware 20 years ago when I got married, and I love it. And this mug is wonderful for soups and things when I take meals out. I don't have the lid anymore, so we're gonna donate that. Then I love this little lid to put on for leftovers. There's a lid that matches that. This oblong one, I love the size, but I don't, the lid broke. But I'm keeping that until I can replace it with one that has a lid. And then over here are a large deep one, which I use when we do um, scalloped potatoes and when we do some pasta bakes. And the small one is great for sides, vegetables, and the one inside, though it's stained horribly, is also a great size. I've picked it up at a Goodwill store. It's the pattern that I grew up with, Corel. And anyway, but it's a nice size because it's, I don't know, it's about size. It's gonna be, anyway, it's a good size for what I use it for. I'm trying to think what I use it for. So I can put two corn in there when we have a, a big group or when I do a small casserole. It's I'm keeping it. If I find that I'm not using it a lot, then I will get rid of it. But yeah, that's all of those. So we're keeping everything. It feels like, oh nice, got my water bottle out there. Anyway, except for that mug and that tin pie dish. Technical difficulties. So this is my knife drawer. I've already taken everything out of it. Sorry. These, so I'm just going through these steak knives and we do use them. So I'm gonna keep them. But I'm gonna totally clean up this this is gross. All the crumb stuff will be going. This knife I should actually use for my asparagus. It would look work really good. Forgot I had it. So I'm gonna clean those. This is the get rid of donate pile, which I'm gonna join with my other kitchen things. And then this paintbrush goes with the kids' art stuff, and the scissors need to go up to the office. So I'm keeping my Cutco knives and the storage thing that comes in, and my Onada knife, a pair of scissors, pizza wheel, sharpener, the best potato peeler ever. It's an OXO. You can find them at Kroger's and Fred Meyer and Walmart and I think Target carries them and probably a bunch of other places. Yeah, best one. You can see I've used it a lot. I actually need a new one, but keeping this like another one because you can't not have a potato peeler. Keeping the apple core slicer and then I just talked to you about the steak knives, the apple core, and then these two knives because we use them in the garden when we're cutting produce and when I go picnicking or whatever, I have a knife to grab. And that is it for knives. Okay, the knives are all put back in the drawer. So we have all the cut coasts here. My Oneida knife here. The small knives and steak knives here. Apple core pizza wheel. Apple core slicer, peeler, scissors, sharpener. Not a huge change in there, but it looks better. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead. I put everything back, but in slightly different places. So here's my Bosch mixer, just below the knife drawer on my island. And then on the bottom I put my Bosch food processor attachment, the little pocket maker on the left, and then the waffle iron here. I think it will be easier to clean any grease that builds up on counters here than in the other cabinet. This is where they were previously stored. I took my KitchenAid off of the counter, which I think I will like except for I'm worried about when my kids need to move it to cook, so we'll see how that goes. And then my large mixing bowls, and then my glass mixing bowls here. Up here I have put my blender, 
my pizza, or not pizza, what are those, pie plates. Something is dragging. Hmm. So the casserole dishes and more casserole dishes and the popcorn popper. I think it was this popcorn popper. Yep, it was hanging out. So that is the center corner cupboard. And then over here I have another cupboard. This is where I put my griddles, electric griddles on the bottom. I moved them. And then my toaster oven here. And then there's some empty space in the back. So that could be good. Could be good. So that's where those go. Now in this drawer above, I've got a few cooking and baking items that I need to go through. So I've got a rolling pin. Be keeping that a dowel roller. That's great for tacos. My marker and can opener. My I don't know what this is called. Pastry cutter, but it's not really a pastry cutter. But I use it to cut dough. A biscuit cutter. A can opener. My lid opener thing when the lids are tight. And my bowl scraper and the other stuff in this drawer there's a marker clear back here the other stuff in this drawer I will go through when I go through food because it's food related I've got some cheesecloth too this is such a catch-all right now what I'm going to do is set in this container contain things a little better this should fit right over here. Let's see if that will close. Maybe this in here. The can opener and anyway, the two different can openers. This is where I open cans the most. And I probably only need one marker here. I use this to label bags when I'm freezing food, drying things. The biscuit cutter, same thing. This is where I use it, so I keep it here. The uh, rolling pin and the dowel need to be in here as well. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Wonderful. And it closes. So that's what I'm going to do to contain those kind of random things. And yeah, I'll go through that when we do food. So yeah, that's where we're at. And moving to the next cabinet. Okay, here's the drawer where we keep our oven mitts. They're kind of ratty, old. Keeping them, trivets, tile ones, and these hot pads. And then in this container, yeah, pretty much except for everything but the scraper is going to go into the garbage. So that is done. We need to take that stuff out and I'll just clean that drawer. But clean it out and then replace it. This cabinet has my um, 9 by 13 pan, my roast pan, square pan. In the back are cake pans, the springform pan, and a bunt pan, and then my loaf pans. That covered. And then down here are a roasting pan, cutting boards, cooling racks, muffin tins cookie sheets and lids, pie, or not pie, it isn't someplace it's called pie, pizza pan, another wood cutting board, and this rack, I believe it's for the microwave. I'm not, I don't even remember, I'll have to figure that out. But it's that covered with all the cooking and baking items. Okay, here it is, <laughs> got it all back in. So I put the things that I grab less frequently on the little divider, because it does slide around. So I could attach it to the cabinet, but I changed my mind about where I want to put things and our life changes and so I don't want holes from it. So it just, I deal with the sliding. It doesn't bother me that bad. And if I put the less used items on it, it'll bother me even less. So that is that cabinet put together. This cabinet is also near our stove and this top shelf has our hand mixer. Not the best place to put it really hard to reach but I don't use it a lot. There's also spices in here. There's a, a herb meal back there, grater, 
choppers, more graters, a little thing that makes hamburger patties, a little thing for the microwave for eggs, my mortar and pestle. So those two shelves will need to be gone through in this category. The other one is spices. We'll go. Here are the items back in the cupboard. I am not really excited about the way this is, but as I go through the kitchen, I fully expect to find more space to change this layout or this organize, organize it, to plain old organize it better. This is everything back in the cupboard. This cabinet sits near the stove and the microwave, and up here are the things I use less frequently. There's some canning packets there, that super shooter that I make cookies with, the round tub right here has some cake decorating items in it. There's some food coloring, piping bags. This is our electric knife I use when we're doing freezer corn. More cake decorating, cupcake holders, frosting tip, more canning stuff, a offset spatula. That jar in the back will do with foods. That's a drink mix. So yeah, we'll get to that. This is, yeah, food stuff. So there isn't anything in here we'll have to cover. So it's just these top two shelves in this cabinet. All right, these are the things that I am going to donate or give away. This is now empty. That was a cake decorating. Oh, it's not even labeled. I thought it was labeled cake decorating container. I'm going to keep the super shooter because we really like the cookies we can make with that. And we just tried stuffing cupcakes with pudding with this and my kids loved it. So these are my cake decorating um, tools, my tips, and my spreader uh, offset spatula, and then the, I don't know what these are called, flanges. I'm just going to put those in that container. In this container, which is de cake decorating, I have my sprinkles, birthday candles, um, different holiday muffin liners or cupcake liners and just the sprinklers sprinklers sprinkles I've left and then my food colorings that's what's in there and then I'll keep this bag of the piping bags this is a butter dish we'll be keeping more muffin tins keeping I'm going to relocate these lids and canning type items down to my storage room I have a system there to store them so I'm going to do that and just bring them up when it's time to use them. This is my electric knife. I will be leaving it in the contain in the cupboard as well. Okay, these are my appliances. The KitchenAid mixer is usually right there in the corner of my countertop, but I pulled these others from the pantry because the pantry is just it's hard to film in. So I've got a really large roasting pan and a double cake pan a grain meal, a crock pot, and my dehydrator. I use these frequently enough. I can't imagine getting rid of them, but we'll see as we go through the process. Last cabinet for this category in the kitchen. So this is what it looks like before. And now I'm just going to take everything out and then go through it. Okay, I just went and got my husband's screwdriver and I fixed it as best I could. I, anyway, here's the cast iron skillets. It's going to be hard to see. The lids, my strainer, my wire strainer, and then on the bottom are my saucepans. And my stock pot is in the back. You can just make it out. And my salad spinner, and then my wok, and my egg poacher. The little mesh screen grease guards are right there on the side of the cabinet and that works really well and that gets this category of the kitchen done so stay tuned the next thing will be food that is a large category I'm scared of that's what makes the kitchen intimidating to me is going through all the food but that will be the next con Marie and then Let's see, what else? What else? That's it. I kind of like, oh, a big sigh of relief. It feels good. It looks much better. It's more organized. I'll be 
excited when it's all done. Here are the items that I'll be getting rid of, giving away. Um, these two piles are things that need to be put in another place. And that does it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, want to see more of them. You're going to see more of them. I'm going to finish this process. And then subscribe so you don't miss out because there is an option there when you subscribe to be notified when a video comes out. I also do backpacking, food videos, trip reports, just starting those two things. And then my stitch fix, which comes every other month. So you can be looking for those.